Hi guys, Khalid from Cricket Fanatics Magazine. Yeah, I'm here with Sunay. Sunay, so new role for you. <laughs> yeah, no, definitely. It's, uh, it came as a surprise, um, but really loving it at the moment. Um, it's definitely something I want to do after cricket, so why not start early? What uh, attracted you about that type of role in the media role? Um, I'm currently studying communication science okay. through UNISA, so it kind of fits in fits in with everything, and I kind of like being not just on, on camera, but also behind the camera as well. So it's really something that's that's very attracting to me and uh, really looking forward to, you know, to, to get those opportunities and then doing it after cricket. That's quite uh, interesting because um, we share that in common. I did exactly the same thing through UNISA as well, so, so it's amazing. Our second year. <laughs> no, much, much easier. It gets easier as you go along. Okay, good. Um, so I just wanted to ask you about how do you balance your life as a, as a professional cricketer and what are some of the lessons you can give to some of the younger cricketers? You know, it's definitely um, definitely difficult when you don't know kind of how to balance everything um, but I think you know it's it's time management at the end of the day you got to make time for everything in, in the day um, for me cricket comes first so I kind of have to go to gym and train my cricket and then I can do you know do stuff afterwards like study so I kind of leave that for the for the late evenings but yeah you kind of just have to prioritize what you what you need to get done and then just do it. So this is obviously a Fanatics channel and you have an amazing opportunity to be behind the scenes with the Swanus Partners team. Can you give us some insight into what that was like and give them maybe a little bit of a peek through the window of what it was like to be with the team? Yeah, no, the team is, they have uh, a lot of characters. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've really enjoyed Mona Morkel, he's such a prankster and all the guys have been really um, accepting of me coming coming into the environment. I think they've been really good. Um, they're really fun guys to work, to work with and I think kind of just to be with them, you know, to interview them and kind of just get behind the scenes, I think it's a really cool thing. And just maybe some of the heroes that you looked up to when you were growing up getting into cricket? Yeah, obviously, Abby de Villiers, um, interviewing, now, interviewing him now, I stand there with a the mic and I go like this, <laughs> but no, it's really cool, it's, you learn, you're learning them as, you know, as people and you're getting to know them as people, so not just the cricketing side of things, but, you know, um, getting to make friendships out of it, so it, I think it's really cool. Different to be behind the mic from the other end? Yeah, definitely. I don't know what's more stressful, going out to bat or holding the mic, but uh, no, no, it's really something I enjoy, so it's good. And actually just a word to the Cricket Fanatics fans. Yeah, no, thanks guys for the, all the support. Um, thank you for, you know, supporting the women's cricket especially, and I hope you guys can keep on doing it. Thanks a lot, Suna. Thank, thank you, you so much. <laughs>